Uh, at one of the congresses, you were explaining differences between analog and digital system. Do you recall? Yes. What is the significant difference? Well, you know, as a musical sound engineer, you remember those those analog equipment which provided good quality sound and they even considered it better than digital. I myself built those amplifiers. Yes, I remember in Russia there were famous M50 amps. Yes, yes. So, it has a different quality in it. You often bring an example of analog system and digital. Analog system is higher than digital, because it is infinitely scalable, uh, of precision, like uh, with vinyl records. Regular vinyl records, not CDs, right? True professionals value vinyl records, right? Why? Because all tiny, minute uh, details of the sound are being captured with, with, harm, with all harm harmonics. And in digital system, you need to decipher all that. You need to put everything into in its cells, pul pulses, right? And put everything in pulses. No matter how many instruments you have, you have each has to find its cell, and number of those cells are limited. That means it's not complete transmission of the information. No matter how you build the graph from those cells, pulses, it will still be approximate. It will consist of impulses internally. Therefore, digital transmission of the information, it is, uh, it is more efficient. That's clear. Because of, because of what we can uh, tune into different frequencies, we can transmit massive amounts of information, but sens sensations, nuances, those harmonics that cannot be detected by any of your computers, but only necessary for our, our hearing, for our sensations, they are better transmitted using uh, these uh, vinyl records. Or through our, you know, old uh, radios, transmitters, non-digital. But you said that the last generation thinks digitally, right? Yes. What is the difference, f uh, let's say, for, for, for Kabbalah? Or according to Kabbalah? Digital thinking it's a thinking using the mind, besides a very primitive mind. Analog thinking is sensual thinking, unlimited. That's the difference. A heart detects, detects analog, meaning smooth information, the wave, and brain detects discrete information. It works according to bits. But at the same time, the current generation, like uh, most of your students, belong to it. Students, uh, no, I don't. I, I, I don't see that at all. I think among my friends there are no, uh, you know, these bitters, or we, we can say uh, impul impulsors. No. Almost none. At least they work in that field, but uh, field, but they uh, they don't think in such fashion. They don't think that way. No. But in general, uh, we we are going to go back. I'm sure that we are going to transition back to. Um, um, to um, uh, to analog state, spiritual in spiritual world, but in spiritual world, what is interesting? You you grade things in very strict fashion, the levels and feelings on those levels are analog. 
You see? But the levels themselves, they are they are digital. They are digital. They are uh, ciphered. They are impulse-based. Tick-tock, tick-tock, every second like that. Inside of you uh, goes on the uh, realization, sensations are manifested. But the sensation itself in you is turned into... Uh, 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 feelings and feelings are not are not digital they are analog so that so that system that you're describing all those levels those that are described by Bala Sulam they are built according to analog system right they are built according to a digital principle uh, uh, according to very strict laws this, uh, this after this and after that, meaning the influence of light that reacts, uh, uh, the reaction from the side of the desire between them appears the means of balancing them both, called the screen, and all that is built according to very clear principles. Five stages uh, in desire, zero, one, two, three, four, and five stages in light, nefeshuach, nishama, haya and uh, the screen that is built according to both, that ties them both both together. But, but uh, that's how the system of our soul is built. But the sensation uh, of it that we get from it is it is analog. It's analog and not digital, not square shape or cube shape, though that's the way everything is growing and they are, uh, but they are essential, unlimited, because when light fulfills the vessel, fills the vessel, it, it doesn't leave any voids, it generates that very full integral when the integral is always uh, associated with limit, meaning instead of calculating the area of this kind of shape, we will, we will fill it up with different squares and then we sum those squares because we know what's the area of the square and the sum of square will give us sort of, uh, will show us the, uh, the, the area of this entire problematic shape. In fact, it won't. But approximately, that's how we use it. Depending on how, to what degree of precision we divide the divide the two squares. So here we get ideal integral, perfect, because the light fills all the voids of the vessel of the clay, and therefore the sensation that we receive here, they are. They, uh, they are analog, they are perfect, despite the fact that gra gradation, transmission of the information, its uh, perception, then playback, uh, somehow, basically everything besides feelings, uh, the sensations inside the vessel, all that progresses according to the levels, meaning strictly degraded. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, how to say? Uh, clearly, D determined? Uh, yes, determined. And why wasn't created analog system, which is then transitioned into analog? Why were there? Why is there two systems needed? And as you described, digital and anal analog, because this way, uh, digital system gives you gives you precision, measurement, detection, analysis, synth synthesis. An analog system provides the degree and clarity of sensation. Therefore, in such form occur, occurs binding of these two systems. But that's only because we deal with the light, which fulfills the clay, fills up the clay vessel, and uh, fills up all, the wall, it, all its voids, meaning there is nothing left in our senses, none of uh, these uh, small tails that are still left empty, not included in integral.